Hi friends, today we'll take a look at how to fix a problem with Wakerend when it keeps returning an authentication failure or freezes when trying to create a SSH connection. But this should also teach you a lot about Secure Shell in general. Because this issue could be caused due to multiple factors, we need to troubleshoot this step by step. I'll go through each step and hopefully one of them will be the solution in your case. In order to uh, troubleshoot correctly, you need to test each solution separately and not apply multiple at once. This way you'll be able to find out exactly what caused the issue in your case. As always, all used commands are in the description to copy paste. First thing, make sure you have virtualization enabled in your BIOS or UEFI. From the start menu type boot and that will give you the option for change advanced startup options, which will help you access the BIOS or UEFI. From there navigate to your virtualization menu and make sure it's enabled. Reboot your PC and check whether the issue is resolved. When using VirtualBox as hypervisor in a Windows machine, make sure you have Hyper-V disabled under your Windows features, which can be found by searching for it under Start menu. But you can also try another hypervisor like Hyper-V or VMware instead of VirtualBox. On my Windows host, Hyper-V didn't have the issue, well, VirtualBox did. But after a few, few months, I had the same issue with Hyper-V. For instructions on how to install Hyper-V with Vagrant in Windows 11, I have a dedicated video. When using VirtualBox, open the VM settings, go to Network, then Advanced, and make sure Cable Connected is enabled. Then see if the issue is resolved. Make sure you have the latest versions of your hypervisor and Vagrant installed on your system. For Vagrant, you can simply download and install the latest installer over your current version to update it. Whenever you get this issue, you can press Ctrl C to cancel the SSH authentication. But the VM should be up and running even though you're getting an authentication error. You can check this by entering the command vagrant global dash status or by opening your hypervisor and seeing the status of your VM, which should indicate a running. In that case, enter vagrant SSH and that should try to log you in the VM using account credentials instead of the SSH key. The default username and password in uh, Vagrant boxes are set to Vagrant. So enter Vagrant as password with all lower cases and this should prompt the VM command line. Alternatively, you can try the manual SSH command. It's possible that the VM is stuck due to input. Try opening the GUI of the VM by using your hypervisor. It will show the display of your VM and what it's doing at the moment. When the VM shows the login screen, don't enter any credentials, but go back to the command line and enter Vagrant SSH. It could now proceed to connect by using the Vagrant credentials. There might be an issue with your SSH key not being sent to the VM correctly. In your host machine, under your Vagrant file directory, enter Vagrant space ssh config to check the current SSH settings. Here you can see which SSH key is being used and where it's located in your host machine. You can then create a public key from the private key by using the following command line. 
and through manual SSH connection, which we went through in previous steps, update the authorized keys in your VM. Under Vagrant Home Directory, see if the SSH directory and the file authorized keys are created. If not, then you can create them manually and add the public key to it. After that, make sure chmod is set to 700 for the SSH directory and 600 for the file authorized keys. Then reboot by entering vagrant reload. Vagrant reload is same as vagrant halt followed by vagrant up and is also used for changes in vagrant file to take effect. You can also try the SSH command with the dash I option to define which key you want to use. You can create your own private and public keys and define it in the vagrant file by adding this line. But in my case that actually brought back the issue and that's because the public key is also changed but not added to the authorized keys in the guest VM. Keep in mind that if you enter a passphrase for your key, then you are required to enter it during vagrant up or reload. Try disabling SSH insert key option in the vagrant file, which stops vagrant from auto-generating the SSH key but this option also pairs a key to the guest VM, which is needed to create SSH connect connection. I would say you probably need this option enabled, but you can test it disabled. Stop your VM from running by entering vagrant halt. Then try removing the default private key, but make sure auto regenerate is on and run Vagrant up again. This should create a new private key and that could solve the issue. Adding a private network to your Vagrant file could also be a solution. You can assign DHCP or a static IP address. Another option that could help is by setting forward agent to true in your vagrant file. And make sure to vagrant reload for changes to take effect. You can also enter your SSH credentials inside the vagrant file by adding these lines. This is not really a solution, but a workaround. You can also run SSH in debug mode by adding dash with three Vs and read through the log to see if it tells you where exactly it runs to a problem. Here we can see that because we are using SSH manually to connect to Vagrant Box, it's using the SSH config file and in there we have a different uh, SSH key defined than the one we should be using. And this causes a mismatch with the authorized keys on the guest. If all else fails, try removing your hypervisor with the virtual machines and Vagrant all together. And after that, try reinstalling them. Hope this video helps you to resolve any SSH issues with Vagrant or at least teaches you about it. And I'll see you in the next video.